Well, would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. So... I'm off. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Go already. Call us sometime. Hey, man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion? Keep broadcasting over an open channel. Just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. I let him go. I'll still hey, him. Let... Shoot Shut him. Up. All right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? I am. I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies. I told him what happened. And he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you. To Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family. And Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Peter gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs? No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Damn it to hell, Saul! Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this! A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Or pissing Militech off so they hammer us into the dirt right here? Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. 
Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. Remember when we first met? Almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain. Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Hey, V, come here! Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. Uh-huh. And where? <laughs> You've been in the city a while, haven't you? You want to know everything now, yesterday. Why don't we just take one? Because we need two. Shit. You're about as useful as a data term helpline. You'll see, V. Trust me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Holy shit! Mitch, what the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. Mitch, you fucking gonked. Yeah, yeah, quit complaining. No point wasting time. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. You absolutely sure this is a good idea? No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish. So I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen. With or without you. May the road be kind to you, friend. Hey, speaking of... Where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. He a Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> Mitch, why me? Why did you ask me to help? Oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know. I, uh, I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your paths crossed, just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Oh, and uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Thanks, Mitch. But I'd better be going. You're barely standing, V. You take care of yourself, okay? You, Pen M, and the cowboy. Now, that sounds like a story I want to hear. Wouldn't call it a story so much as just another episode of what happens to folk traveling on the road. Gonna spill or not? Me and Pan Am were hauling cargo from San Francisco to Kansas for one of these so-called cowboys. That's what we called the owners of those huge sin meat farms. Kansas was riddled with them operations, but Pan Am never seen one. So we get there, we unload the cargo, some valves for boilers, doesn't matter. Stench in the air's unbearable. Pan Am's face is green, she's practically gagging. Then the owner struts over to us, cowboy hat in hand, about to say howdy, when Pan Am... No. Pan Am drenches his boots with that day's lunch. I thought that was it, that we were screwed. But you know what the cowboy said? No need to bow, I'll just take a handshake. <laughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? 
What happened? Passed out on the way. I tried shaking you awake. To no avail. It sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? I heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though, we still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Hey! I'll go, thanks. Good. Really good, in fact. How about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. So, time for a ride? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Pan Am will lose her chance at taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Saul gets the credit for leading. But if anything goes sideways... Blame falls on Pan Am. She's the one who brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. I got just one son of a bitch left. And he's about to get a- Bobby! Jesus Christ, Bobby! Bobby, do you read? We have to go- I'm sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb, big-ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. After that display, you can be sure there's a place for you in the Panzer Boy ranks. Impressive. Thanks. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We need you. Well, right now they need me more. Fellas, what's the issue? You I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gonk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. Carol, I'm heading your way. Hang in there! Saul! You'll owe me a beer after this! They're gonna... Pan Am. Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Bitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? V, hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But 
Just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. <laughs>